School Pace now allows teachers to evaluate the performance of multiple students on a single scale in the EARLA and EANEAL. This is especially helpful for teachers who are trying to document evidence for multiple students at once, like after working with a small group. This video will show how to use this new bulk data entry feature. To begin, we'll log in to our demonstration district, Mount Bradley School District. After logging in, we pick a school and navigate to a classroom. On the left-hand side, there is a Tools column. At the bottom of this column, we will see links that allow the teacher to enter a NEAL or ERLA data for multiple students. Here, we see just one link, titled Enter ERLA data for multiple students. If we switched to the bilingual reporting group, we would see links for both the ERLA and for the NEAL. We will select Enter ERLA data for multiple students. After clicking on the Enter ERLA data for multiple students link, we see the overview page for two green. This should look exactly the same as the EARLA page for a single student. On the left hand side, we click Comprehension. On the right hand side, notice the Enter Data links. We will choose RL 1.2, Literature Standard 2 for first grade. This page shows us that we are working in two green, and specifically, Evaluating Literature Standard 2 for first grade. Below that standard, we see a list of all the students in Nate Smith's classroom. Notice that this list includes all of the students, not just the two green readers. We can sort students by their reading level by clicking the column heading titled Student Data. If we want to see only the two green readers, we can click the 2G Students link. To show all the students again, Click the Show All Students link. We will select only the two green students. Now we'll enter some data for our classroom. First, we'll add evidence for Lewis Castle. Since Lewis has demonstrated mastery of this skill, we'll assign points by selecting Yes in the pop up menu on the right side of the screen. With this tool, we can quickly and easily evaluate each two green reader in the classroom. Every change we make is immediately sent to school pace and saved. We can also use this tool to remove evidence. There is a piece of evidence attached to Dwayne Akbari that is a mistake. We'll click the delete link to remove this piece of evidence. Finally, while we are here, we can also jump directly to Dwayne's individual Erlo record. We can do this by clicking the Open the Erlo button for Dwayne. Schoolpace will open a new tab as indicated by the banner at the top of the screen. When we are finished reviewing Dwayne's Erlo record, we click the Close tab and return button at the top of the screen. If we want to enter Erlo data for the one green readers in our classroom, we can simply click the 1G tab at the top of the screen. Again, we can click one button to show only the one green readers in our class. When we are done entering Erla data for this classroom, we can navigate away using any of the links in the navigation menu or the breadcrumb bar at the top of the screen. We'll click to return to the classroom. Finally, as stated before, we can use this new tool to enter data for both the ERLA and for the INEAL. To demonstrate this, we'll switch to the bilingual reporting group. Now, a new link is available to us. We'll click the Enter INEAL data for multiple students link. Now we can enter annealed data for multiple students the same way we did with the ERLA. This concludes the demonstration of Schoolpace's new bulk entry feature. We are excited to share this new feature with all of our Schoolpace users. Follow Schoolpace on Twitter for the latest updates.